up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to tell you a little story today. I came to Germany from Canada around 10 years ago. And when I came here, I used to take this train to Cologne City to go pick up my wife at the time when she was working there in Cologne City. And after a few months, we got married, I got a car, and I haven't taken this train for almost nine years. And I want to put this iPhone 13 Pro to test in a street photography session. Now, I usually do my street photography with my cameras, but this time I'm going to try to do this with the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm not really used to doing it with a phone, but we're going to put it to test and see how it is. So stay with me. Let's go to Cologne. that was a little bit nostalgic I do get on trains on a regular day basis but this was definitely something special because I don't get on a train in my own city but uh, we're here we're in Cologne right now so let's go and explore the city the beautiful dome cathedral as you can see behind me so it's 3 to 4 p.m. and the sun is still a little too harsh to use it as a key light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a strong rim light. So I'm going to face my lens exactly toward it. And I'm going to use these long streets to have this really nice depth of field. And I'm just going to wait for people to come into my frame. And I'm going to start snapping pictures. One of the advantages of shooting at this time of the day and using the sun as a rim light, what it does is that it creates a really high contrasty picture. So you have a lot of bright highlights and a lot of dark shadows. And when you make that into a black and white picture, you get some really amazing results. And another thing that I tend to look out for when I'm doing street photography is I try to look for a really nice spot, a corner of a street has a really nice character to its architecture. And I set a nice composition and I really just wait for people to either drive by it on a bike or walk in front of it. So I just got back from uh, Cologne. And if you were to ask me which one do I prefer to take the car or the train, I gotta say, I'm gonna have to stick to the car. <laughs> I don't know, I just like my car, maybe that's why. But uh, we're back in Bonn, we're in a really beautiful, famous location. This place is well known for its cherry blossoms. Just check out this beautiful place. I see a plain wall I try to see it as a nice solid background and I make my composition a solid symmetric composition and like always I wait for people to walk in front of my lens and I start snapping pictures and boom with street photography everything happens so fast that you're just gonna have to keep an eye out for everything and you have to make your gear act as fast as you want it to I've been trying to put an element in front of my lens all day and I wasn't really able to find anything until I was walking by and I saw these two empty iced tea cups sitting on top of this garbage can so I put my lens right up close to it and I started to snap for pictures. Guys, if you guys were wondering, this is the actual home of Beethoven. So if you ever do visit Bonn, this is the place where Beethoven used to live. Another technique I like to use, I like to put my camera right next to a wall, either on the right side or the left side of the frame, and use the wall's perspective to bring the attention to my subject. Now let's summarize what we talked about today. Shoot against the light, have depth in your pictures, and be quick. Now let's quickly jump behind the computer. I want to show you a couple of techniques on how to edit these photos. 
So let's go ahead and use one of my presets. I'm gonna use the black and white one because I told you with this set of lighting, you can get some really nice black and white pictures. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exaggerate the highlights and the shadows a little bit. So we get a really nice contrast going on over here. And I'm gonna to try to make the background a little bit more blurry. So I'm gonna use the wonderful new tool of selecting my subject in Lightroom. And I'm going to invert that mask and I'm going to paint off the foreground. And then I'm just gonna reduce the sharpness. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna create a little bit of haze from where the light is coming. So I'll create this radial selection and I'll just make it a little bit dehazed. And voila. Now you can get these presets on my site, seanalemi.com for $25 and you can import them to your Lightroom and you can give your pictures a pop with a matter of a second. Now, if you also have Lightroom CC installed in your computer, if you import those presets there, they will automatically sync to your Lightroom mobile app. Whenever you're out there doing some street photography, in a matter of a second, you can use these presets to make your amazing pictures look even nicer. I like this. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit that like button for me for the algorithm. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to come around and watch more videos like this. Until we see each other next time, stay safe.